Ready, set. What is going on, guys? Joey here with Flex Training Systems. Live on Twitch as usual when we do these videos. Today we are breaking down Jesus' last meet. He put up a historic 1,055 kg total as a junior. This meet marks uh, one year of us, um, like, not working together. We've been working together over a year, but like from our first meet together to till now, it's been a year, right? Um, I mean, this is just the culmination of technique refinement, working really, really hard, and um, just putting everything together into one complete package. Um, I'm really proud of the work that he's put in. He communicates, he trusts me, he listens. I mean, what more can I ask for, right? I was just talking to my chat, telling them how I'm really thankful for the group of juniors that I have. They're all super hungry. They want to get better. Um, they kind of feed off of each other, seeing each other compete and push each other just helps you work on another level. Um, and, and Jesus has just been, he takes his training seriously. He takes his recovery seriously. Um, and he has really good. Oh my God, I'm done. Oh, I'm done. Thank you for the follow. I don't even know how to say your name. Thank you for the read, Kira the Kermit. Kira the Hermit. Thank you for the raid, brother. Um, caught me in the middle of a video. Anyway, Jesus here. Yeah, he's he's phenomenal. He he listens. He takes it really seriously, and I think he is on the brink of achieving greatness if he has not already. Um, I believe this puts him at number two like all all time or like for this year it's number one for this year number two like if we're looking at the other super heavyweights this is just ray oh williams my God, I'm thank you guys for the follows really appreciate it um but i believe this is the 11th i think he said it was like the 11th highest total of all time um like regardless of any federation or anything like that i could be off um but he's it's up there he's like just one more meet, and I think we're going to be able to to hit the biggest total. Just for reference, last year his total with me was 902.5 kg. This year, um, as you guys will be able to see in this post, 1,055. So he has put 100 and 52 and a half kilos on his total in one year from meat to meat and as always i i really oh i God, really I'm appreciate good. when you guys um oh, this just right here just thank you i really appreciate that it really means a lot um you know this is this is i'm just looking at this number like oh God, wow I'm we're good. getting blown up oh we're getting blown up. Thank you guys for the follows, brothers. Um, but yeah, this is a crazy. This is a crazy number. This is a crazy number. Um, oh my oh God! I'm, <laughs> oh I'm gonna have to edit this because of all the follows. But I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Um, Two thousand three hundred and twenty-six. That is an astronomically powerful number. We're gonna go through his lifts one by one. Um, like I said, takes his training and nutrition really seriously this is third attempt let's go to the opener I believe this is the opener I believe 870 no that's the second yeah 826 826 opener now leading into competitions uh, with all my lifters I give them like okay hey, these are your options um, this is what you're gonna take you know based on the numbers that you've given me Jesus is really mature about it it's never like I don't have to fight him about anything. It's just like, hey, this is what I think we should do. And he's like, hey, those are my thoughts. Exactly. Like, let's do this. Let's do that. Whatever. And then he knows, like, there's a little variance if he wants to go up or down or what. But, um, yeah, that was a stupid, light, absurdly easy opener. I will say his peak, his peak was phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal peak. Like, one of the best. Like, I don't think I've seen anyone peak so hard before. Um. He, like he'll turn his best heaviest number into the, into the gym to like a, 
what, what could have been a second attempt, like super, super easy. Um, you could argue his 870 looked even better. And then I believe his third squat right here with 903. Breaking the 900 barrier. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal squat. Um, I will say, for being a super heavyweight, he is he's very, he's not sloppy, right? He's very, very solid. Um, he also has some of the best depth I've ever seen um, on a big boy. Seriously. Like, I have, like, there's, like, no doubt. He's just a big person. Right, he's just a he's just a big, you know, big dude, and and he hold he carries his weight very well, and he hasn't really gained weight. Here's something here's something to note. When you put 300, three or what was it? It's like 400 pounds in your total or something like that in a year, and you don't gain any weight. You built muscle and lost body fat. Like it is what it is. <laughs> Not only did you become more technically proficient, but you had to put on some muscle somewhere. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, he was kind of messing around with low bar for a little bit, and it just wasn't really worth the damage it was causing his um, his bench, right? So we ended up just sticking with the high bar. It works really well. It's more of kind of like a mid bar. Um, I think a lot of big guys do well with it. Um, and, yeah, just phenomenal. 903, crazy amount of progress. Depth is phenomenal. Just blowing things up. I will say he is squatting on a stage. And I have competed on a stage before, and I will say that it does kind of bounce a little bit when you come down, and you guys will see that becomes more relevant later. So I don't know if he was having trouble stabilizing. Shout out to the Flex ones, the shoes that he's wearing. Um, I believe that is an Alico bar, but with 900 pounds, it's going to bend. So you can kind of time that whip a little bit with high bar, and really, it's just, it's just. It just makes everything a lot easier when you have, um, you know, the physics kind of helping you. But, yeah, phenomenal weight. Uh, big dude, weight moves weight, and really excited to see where he ends up. I think he's totally capable of squatting 1,000 in the future. Um, even if he doesn't improve any of his other lifts and he can do that, I think that'll be enough to put him, you know, well into the stratosphere. So, I am going to bring up some matchup things with him and Ray Williams to kind of create some like intrigue and you know maybe some things for people to consider um, let's go ahead and go to bench I believe this is his opener around 507 501 something like that um, again we can refer to the Instagram post here let me find it uh, 512 512 490 sorry 490 bench opener his bench, um, it is the lift that we train the most frequent, which is only twice a week. Shocker, right? Um, so it is holding a little bit more fatigue than most things. And it peaked super, super well. Again, absolutely flew off the chest. Um, second attempt here. What was that 512? Again. Even like most guys his age, they come in, they're feeling really good. The peak is going crazy. They're like, ah, I want to hit everything. I want to, I want to max out. I want to just do whatever. But nope, for him, it's like build the total, take what's there, stay in the pocket, just slowly add chips, you know, slowly add your chips, slowly add your tips and just build on your total. And, um, it's exactly what it did. He's extremely, extremely mature for being so young literally rpe6 right there and now uh i believe this is 541 and a half or something it's a record um he is taking uh, i believe this is a junior record and um it was a big jump but you know he did want to go for the record and it was easy like it was not hard i think he had another that's another thing i wanted to talk about as amazing as his performance was he definitely had ammo in the tank like there was definitely more there um i'm gonna watch this again and try to see how much more i think he had definitely another five pounds possibly another 10 but i'm very confident that in the next meet 551 is going to go down no problem not even going to be an issue let me just go back to squat real quick Th I, I honestly think he had another 15 kilos maybe 20 comfortably um which is nuts 
when you think about it, how much more he could have done. Um, uh, opening deadlift here, 843. I remember I was with uh, Tina and we were on a walk and I was telling him, hey, if you're feeling gassed, if you're not feeling right, don't be ashamed to drop your opener. We're doing really, really good. Um, again, he's on a stage. When he puts the weights down, the bar is going to kind of bend. I'm bringing that up because of something that happened at the end. Being a little aggressive, um, you know, at Worlds, they are going to calm him down and I will tell him, hey, yo, let's just, let's just chill out. But uh, I just want to say that deadlift has been the lift that we've had to work on the most because, I mean, he is a big guy and just for some reason when he gets towards lockout, he would kind of lose balance. Um, his knees would lock a little bit early and then he would just kind of like lose balance and fall forward. Um, dealing with that much weight, trying to leverage the weight over midfoot. It's just, it was just difficult in the past, but it is something that we hammered. I said, we need to work this with lighter, more manageable weight, and it's going to translate over to the big lifts. Um, again, like a little, a little aggressive putting it down, but he is in control of it. Oh, this is the third? No, this is the second. 881. No, that's the third. Sorry. I'm tripping, fellas. Tripping. 788 opener. Hey, guys, you know what? It's been a long day, right? 788 opener. Nice and easy. Um, here, let's watch it. Again, balance was the thing we're working on a lot. I gave him the option to go down if he needed to, but like I said, the peak was nuts, so he didn't have to. Um, sorry, these are all out of order. 843 next, which you guys already saw. Making sure to get your grip tight. Don't rush anything. And then nine or 881, which is an absolutely phenomenal number. I was told this is the highest raw deadlift. Um, I'm really, really happy with his grip. I mean, I mean, that's 881 brothers. So that's, that's some grip strength right there. And, you know, he held it at the top and he does kind of stay there for a second. Most judges are going to give you a down command right when you get to lockout. Um, they kind of like want to bail you out. You know what I mean? But I mean, like I said, they're, as in my opinion, as soon as you lock out and the bar stops moving, you get the down command. There's no point. Like, what's the point of holding it longer after that? So really good on the front judge. He kept his balance here. Um, 881 pounds on the Alico. People were like trying to say that like, oh, he didn't control the bar down. He like threw it. Someone posted a really good slow motion a video of this where like he actually does has he does have his hands on it as the bar hits the ground like i said this is on a stage look how high it bounces right if this is a solid ground it's not going to bounce but like i said he is on a stage so it is a little bit bouncy it's freaking you know almost 900 pounds the platform is going to give a little bit and it, it did kind of make the end look a little bit more dramatic than it needed to um but it is something that i told him I, you know, he, he's not going to let it get to his head. He's not going to get cocky. We're going to stay humble and we're just going to continue to build on it. You know, at the end of the day, um, the goal is not yet finished. He's capable of much more. Um, and he knows it and we're going to continue to do the things that we've done and or that got us here, which is listening to your body, being smart about training and recovery. When your technique is locked in, don't overthink it. Um, and then, just continue to um, do the things that will help us build on this performance. Jesus, if you're listening to this, I'm very proud of you. I'm very thankful that we get along the way that we do. And I'm really, I'm really, um, you could say in awe. I'm really impressed. I'm really um, just I'm just really impressed in your maturity as a person. I can I can have talented lifters that are not coachable and not do anything with them, but because you're so coachable, because you do listen, um, you know, you're very grateful. Uh, you make me feel appreciated. Like all these things, everything adds up, and we're able to do things like this. I think you did a very historic thing. 
Um, and I'm really, really excited for the next time we get to like, like right now we're on quarantine, right? Like we're locked down. Like when we get a chance to compete against people, it's going to be so fun, right? Because we only have things to gain and I will put Jesus's consistency and his work ethic and, you know, our temp selection and all that up against anybody, which is really exciting. Now, um, something I wanted to bring up, um, uh, I have the USAPL d database here. I wanted to bring up Ray Williams. Ray Williams. Everyone knows Ray Williams is the top dog in the super heavyweights. And I am not, you know, I agree. Um, I think he is he is the GOAT uh, at the moment. Um, he will have to continue to push and, and, and just continue to prove himself. And he hasn't really had anyone uh, besides Blaine Sumner. Um, but Blaine moved on to equip, so now there's not really anyone to compete against him and push him. Um, I don't. I I think he got sick. Uh, oh no, I think he got sick in Sweden. Yes, this is where he, this is where he got sick, and this is him trying to come back. But against Jesus, you know, like I said, he had an. I think he had another 15 to 20 on squat. That's 1070. Another five on bench. 1075, right? On deadlift, I think that was right on the money. He could probably grind another five. Let's say, you know, 10. We're about like at 1080 right now if we wanted to cap it out. Um, one, two, three, four, five. You know, Ray's had a couple performances. Like I said, we got work to do, right? This is not no enough. This ain't not no number to scoff at, right? Um, we got work to do. On, on anything regarding body weight, Jesus just wins. Um, because he's uh, 50 to 70 pounds lighter than Ray, believe it or not. Um, so, you know, if it ever went to like super heavyweights or overall Wilkes points or whatever, I think he'll just take it there. It's not even, you know, no, no contest. Um, but, you know, what is compel what is interesting to me and what makes a compelling argument for why Jesus is a big threat um, to the top spot and the to Ray Williams, no disrespect to Ray at all whatsoever. We, we love Ray. Ray's the best, right? Ray's the guy, right? Ray helped build the sport, right? Is that um, if you look at Jesus's execution? I mean, Ray has had nine for nine meets. The last time he went nine for nine, it looks like was 2016. Um, we're basically going to try to force Ray to have a perfect day nine for nine, meaning not only do you need to be in top peak physical condition, but you're going to need to go nine for nine is essentially what we're going to try to do. Um, and if Ray can do that, then, Hey, he's, you know, he is stronger at the moment. Um, we're going to continue to train and all those things. And, uh, you know, it, it might come down to both lifters going nine for nine and the stronger lifter truly winning. Um, but if that doesn't happen, right? If that doesn't happen, um, then Ray might be in trouble. You could argue, you could argue that Ray, I mean, he jumped a good amount here, 22 kilos and he missed. Maybe he goes a little bit down and this number is actually 11, 130-ish. So, I mean, like 1130, 1,130 total. So, you know, like I said, Jesus has work to do, but we're, I don't see growth stopping anytime soon. Um, we're going to, Ray's going to have to get back to that. You know what I mean? He's going to have to be back to his peak strength and he's going to need to execute. Otherwise, it might get a little bit spicy. I would like to think based on Carpino score, if you guys know what that is, it's like basically when they choose people for world some classes are going to have more than one lifter and you want and we compare them to world's competition and i think if jesus can out total jezza then we may take two super heavyweights regardless of what happens at nationals i'm thinking way down the road but it is exciting to think about that it is exciting that we can be even in the conversation to compete with somebody like ray williams it's excited that i could get jesus to sheffield it's excited that you know He's only a junior and he's doing these things and he's very, very consistent, right? I th we've only missed one lift. I believe only his third pull, the last two meets, and we got this one. So like out of uh, 27 attempts, only missed two. You know what I mean? Um, 
you know, and we're gonna have to, we're gonna need to continue to bring that consistency. We're gonna consistency. We're gonna need to continue to bring it. And I'm just really excited to put Jesus to the test. Um, it feels like, hey, we got nothing to lose. We're the underdogs. We're we're young. We're up and coming, um, and we're competing against the OG, one of the goats, Ray Williams. Literally, literally the God, Ray Williams. Right? It's nuts to me. It's nuts. It's nuts. So just looking at these numbers, looking at Jesus's consistency, his rate of progress. Um, you know, has Ray bounced back? Is Ray ready to go? Um, will it come down to body weight? Da, 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 da. Like, these are all super exciting things. And, I mean, guys, when this Rona stuff goes away and we can get back out there, I cannot describe to you the amount of excitement I have to take this team that I've been building in the bunker for the last year and put it, put, let them loose and send them out there and just see everybody again and compete. I am so ready to compete. I cannot describe to you how ready I am to compete. Um, man, I got so much I want to say inside, but we gotta. We're just gonna. We're just gonna keep working. We're just gonna put our head down. We're just gonna keep working. Um, we're gonna watch anime. We're gonna take it slow. We're gonna chill out. We're gonna vibe out. We're gonna do our thing, right? There's no pressure. We're just. We're just going right along. We're taking. We're taking lifting seriously. You know we're staying healthy, staying away from Rona, and we're just li we're just living life. So I'm starting to get a little ranty now. Um, I just want to say again, Jesus, I really really appreciate you, brother. Um, I'm proud of you. Thank you so much for just continuing to be an example for all the young lifters out there. Thank you for continuing to be, um, you know, just hungry and passionate about lifting. And putting your faith in me and trusting me with something that is so important to you, with something that is so, um, you know, it takes up so much of your time, so much of your mental space. Um, and, 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 you know, I hope that I'm, you know, I hope that you're satisfied with the incredible results that you've had so far. And, hey, man, we got, we got some fun things coming up. You work so hard, dude. You're one of the hardest workers I know. And um, I'm really excited to see where we end up. So, uh yeah i think that might be my last coach's corner for the year um we i just want to say shout out to amanda and jesus highest uh highest men and female total of 2020 what a year um crazy right crazy 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 so really proud of you guys proud of, i just want to say at the end of this i'm proud of chat i'm proud of everyone that watches these youtube videos that likes the video um people that you know follow me on instagram literally everyone i'm just super thankful that we're able to keep it going during these times pushing limits like i said i said, said this years ago we're still doing it and i'm really excited we're gonna take this thing to a whole nother level um and hopefully that gases you guys up uh let me get a hashtag junior goat hashtag world strongest junior hashtag go jesus hashtag whatever you hashtag go broly whatever you guys want to say in the comments down below drop it make sure you go show jesus love when his video drops i'll be sure to post it and um yeah guys talk to you guys in the next one peace